Oh, yeah. We got Mark with 25. Possible to leverage FHA loans into income. I'm poor, a musician, looking for easy way into real estate. Thanks. P.S. Interpol is at College Street, New Haven in August. See you there. Much love. Can't wait to see John Stupid tonight. Hell yeah. Um, wow, Interpol's going? Cool. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, leveraging FHA. No, I don't know anything about that, man. If you're broke, you don't want loans. Loans, being debt free is cool. It has its mer- its merits, right? So everybody's you know obsessed with this you know this debt free movement, this big Dave Ramsey debt free. Um, playing with debt is is like silly and dangerous. Um, you shouldn't want a loan. You should want to go at it for for sim- for certain things for your home. You know what I mean? You shouldn't you shouldn't want to be up to your f- nose in debt. Because let me tell you something. The second the market shifts, you're here. You know what I mean? You don't want to be, you want to be like here, here. Um, Cause this, this, this is where you want to kill yourself. Like this, this puts, this puts gun in people's mouths having this much debt. You want to, you want to know where divorce lives and drug addiction and alcoholism live? They live right here, <laughs> right? When, you know where they live? Mm-hmm. In a $950 a month car payment times three. Ooh, juggling that around. Yeah, keep it up with the Joneses. A, you know, a beach pass, a country club, a $5,300 mortgage, one $225,000 income. Oops, daddy got shit in. No one's hiring. Took a job for half the money somewhere else in a panic. Three down months burn through your, oh, you have $50,000 in savings? Good for you. Three down months where no income was coming in and an Amex bill and all that, oh, wiped out your savings? Oh, cool. I'm sure you'll be able to get out of this. And then, you know, you're just off the ball. You're all screwed up. So um, just keep that in mind. Don't, don't play games with debts. Just, just, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. Just an old school, you know, dad 101. Um, some stuff you can, you know, and cer- I should, I should, certain times you can. When interest rates were 2%, everybody should have been buying, but everybody's coming out of the hole. So only those who had money were playing, playing big. I didn't. Um, no, I did. I did what I could. I bought a couple. I got in there. I got in that mosh pit for a couple. Eli with the twenty-five. Nick, a month into this furniture and mattress sales gig, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Fron, Ashley, etc. Nothing fancy. What's a good way to increase my sales this month? As I really like this job, I want to be successful at it. Love the streams. Uh, uh, selling mattresses. Selling mattresses, huh? And furniture. Mm, mattresses and furniture. My buddy Dave Beanie was an excellent furniture salesman. He was a lifelong furniture salesman. Now he's a vice president of like UPS. Aggressive, Damn. very aggressive salesman. He went after. Uh, I think he just smashed the floor. Like you just got to be everywhere, carding everyone. Um, I think the way with with furniture is aggr- everywhere you are. If you don't mind, it sounds like you don't mind being like a man of this. Like I didn't. I never liked doing like like. See, I did this. I used to do this. This is my business card with my name on it. And people be like, oh, give me a card. I'm like, just take a picture of my phone. <laughs> that was a tip if you ever want one. I put my, my business card in the back of my uh, phone. Clear case. In a clear case. And I say, rather than give cards, I hate to take. Oh, that was a good idea. So uh, oh, I did shit. that. Yeah, you could do when that. They're, when they're flicking through their pictures and shit. Yeah, they take a picture of it. It's like more impactful than me giving them a card. Yeah. But um, have an idea immediately for everyone. Give them immediate sale on why the hell they go to you and give it to them in five seconds. Like, dude, I get the, I get the best master- mattresses, the ones that are 2000 bucks, I can get them to you for $1,200. I don't know. Whatever you can do. Show me the deal. Um, and go for it, man. Be aggressive. Just be, be everywhere. You're going you're gonna to kill yourself, but you'll make mad money. Uh, and I sold a car to a girl furniture salesperson that was mad aggressive. She had, like, a wooden bow tie and shit. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. She, she came in in, like, normal clothes. I sold the car. She's like, I got to go get ready for work. I'll be back. Went home came back to pick the car up. She was dressed in like suspenders, a f- wooden bow tie, a top hat. Whoa. I was like, whoa, holy sh-. It was like a, like a, I was like, wow. She was like, yeah, I work at blah, 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 friends. She was cool as sh-. really sweet. Interesting. Just about it. She was yeah. like, she was like, come to me, I'll hook you up. She had like a reach, like I get discounts. I know, I'll tell you when the sales are. I know when the best time to shop is. That's solid. It's a, yeah, whatever, yeah. go for it. Make yourself a, buck, a bunch of money. P with the 22 Canadian just got promoted to a good sales position after finding out my wife is pregnant. Then today I found out my Hail Mary Law School application was accepted. What's the play? I'm weighing okay earnings right now versus huge earnings later. 
Hmm. Can you do both? I sat on the side at a car dealership of a single mother that went to college and got her degree right in front of me for two years. And it sucked for her. Mm -hmm. But she was kicking my ass. I'm sitting there smoking weed all day. She's studying. Can, yep. you, can you get your... Uh... But you gotta... That's, I know. Of course they're accepting you to law school. They're broke. They want money. <laughs> See if that sails for five seconds. If it stings, come back. I got you. I got you. Hail Mary law school application. Hmm. I don't know, buddy. I don't know, my man. I don't have a good answer for you. If, if you can do both, please do both. Don't let me... I don't, I don't, I don't want to put that on. I don't want that, that stink on me. But uh, I don't know. I know I know some lawyers' friends. They're all rich. They're all pricks, though. <laughs> all my fucking lawyer friends are fucking tough, tough. Um, and I don't have beers with them. And I'm not missing it either. And uh, I'll say that we got another one from uh, Esoteric Cheeseburger. Twenty bucks. Hey Nick, thanks for the many hours of laugh over the years. Want to break free from the wagey cycle? And I've been thinking about going the electrician route. Any tips for getting my feet wet? Seeing if it's for me. Electrician. Electrician. Go for it, bro. Neat electrician work. Uh, my buddy Ryan Krause, powered by Krause. He's my boy, my G, my, o, my OG day one. Um, he's a uni union electrician. Um, now he, him and Chris are very similar. Me? Yeah, yeah, my buddy Krause and you are very similar. Krause? Yeah, my buddy Ryan Krause. Okay. You look alike. Okay. You talk alike. Okay. You're from the same, you're the same person. Okay. Kraus, 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 Kraus. my buddy Kraus. I'm gonna meet best. him. He's a great guy. Okay. You know what he does? What? Mad neat work. His wiring is like dead pin straight. His work, he's very good at what he does. I don't good, know. Good. Very good guy. Likes it. Um, always wishes he made more money. I know that. Yeah. It's good. Mm. You're safe, man. Electricians don't go out of business. Electricians don't look for work. I've never met a broke electrician. I've never met one that doesn't want to work. Tough. It's a, it's a grind, though, man. It's not easy, but. Get your feet wet, man. It's worth it. I promise. The trades are gonna, the trades have been very good to you. I miss working outside every day. I want to quit making uh, media and I want to go back on. The, I want to own a landscaping company again or something. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, but I miss it a lot. I really do. Uh, Logan Grand sent fifty bucks. Thank you, man. Uh, thanks for the laughs. Much appreciated for all the uh, bad news I've gotten recently. Anyways, I'm a stay. I'm a stay-home mom looking to find a stay-home job, but I'm not sure where to start looking. Any ideas for awkward 23-year-old with five years sur service experience? Service, um, stay at home. Oof, I don't know. Well, I don't know where you are. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. You're probably the 11th or 12th uh, girl in the chat, so appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, 23 years old and awkward. Don't like people. Hmm. Analytics? Analytics for a order entry. Yeah. Um, data entry. Data. Yeah. Data entry. Data entry. Analytics. Um, planning. Planning departments for large, uh, large corporations. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Give me a second here. Um, would you work in the trades? Would you work in an office for a large trades? That's a that's a pretty good gig that um, you can kind of stay and you can kind of be the captain of your own ship and not the f anyone you basically you know all your enemies. But working in the office of a uh, um, a plumbing or a heating facility or something like that, or um, I don't know, uh, companies with good growth, Granger Tools, yeah, like Hilti Grizzly. Hilti Tools, specialty tool. I like Whittling. a Granger. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Something like that. Jam, jam making? Yeah, j yeah, right? Uh, or maybe work for someone in your area that uh, has a home business that might need some help, and you can kind of see what their hells are like. No, I don't know. You'll, you, you'll get it. I hope, I hope you find something. I hope, I hope that was a semi-answer. I tried. But I'm not good at working, working from home. I don't even like working from home, to be honest with you. I, I hate it. It drives me nuts. Um, I've kind of like, you know, I used to... I've tried to be my own boss for a long time, and sometimes I don't like it, I'll be honest with you. Waking up and, and not having, like, a full set. You know, it's like worrying about the paper clips that are in the cup at the, at the office. Yeah, Like, yeah. you don't want to worry about the printer paper. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's annoying. Yeah. Sometimes being told, like, do this, this, and this, and mm -hmm. you will get this. Oh, yeah. Sometimes there's some yeah. peace of mind to that, man. So, it's uh, again, it's never a grass is green. Like, oh, I'll be in your boss. Like, F dude, sometimes it sucks. You know what I mean? Your house turns into, like, a prison in your head. Yeah. 
Because you're yeah. like, oh, I'm here all the time. And now it's like your place of work, so you're blurring the lines. And you're drinking beer on the yeah, it's like from, It's like using your <laughs> shovel loom. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the head.